remember the last time I made video on how you can use your barren land? Yeah, since then I've received several calls from my subscribers, those outside country and the ones in Nigeria here, and they are giving me lots of work to do for them. They call me to their farms, to their farmland, to check whether they can use that place to dig pond or whether they can use it to do poultry farm or pig farm or any other farm. So I've been into many places, into many farmland to check if the land will be okay for their farming so and actually i actually get lands for other people and i've been digging constructing ponds for them but right now i have to excuse another work to check someone else's work and the work has been in progress and within a very short time we'll be done with that and we'll return to the one we are doing the farm we are working right now is a bit far from the town as you can see the road even my ear is a kind of dirty because of the dust you know we are in dry season but here is the farm and i'm going to take you there by the time you reach there you are going to see how things are being done there it's actually about catfish and we are digging pond right now that is what we are doing so follow me to the farm Like I told you, the project is ongoing. As you can see, we have first pond. That one is dug already. Then we have the second pond going on. So within a very short time, we are going to be through with this work and we will move to another place to start another work. You know, in some of my videos, I do tell you when digging pond like this, you have to dig it in dry season so that you can reach the right level. For instance, now if you can get a little water like we get inside this pond, so during rainy season, the water will rise higher than the level it was. And remember, I usually tell you that your water shouldn't be less than three feet if you want to raise standard fish. So three feet or more than three feet water level will be okay for you. So this is just the work. As soon as the work is finished, I might make a video of the full pond for you before we go. For those who are interested in catfish business, you can start yours. It is not necessary to call me to help you get the work and get the work done. But if you get people that are professional on this feed, they can help you to do it. So like the people I'm working for now, they have trust in me and they have the belief in me. So and they believe their work will be done. Like I told you, I'm doing another work too, but I have to excuse that work. You know, I discussed with the person that I have a lot of work to do. So I have to excuse the person to help this one out within a week i will move from this place to the place i left to finish the unfinished work and for those who think they can still put tarpaulin inside pond like this i don't advise except your pond is not bringing out water but if your pond is bringing out water like you can see in this one so you don't need tarpaulin or need to tie it with any any other thing 
Ethan Pond, like I told you in some of the videos, you I told you that they bring out their water source come from the ground, so you don't need to pump water inside and you don't need to pump out of it. So the reason why we have availability of water here is because this place is the main source of the water. So the water is moving from this place and it's flowing down to the river there. So because of that, we have enough water here. And there is no even reason to do inlet in this place because the place has enough water. What we are going to need is outlet. So from there, we will be running water. Water will be moving out of the pond 24-7 just to avoid overflowing. So, you know, when overflowing uh, occurred, your fish are going to move out of the pond. You are going to lose some fish, eat some fish. So because of that, we are going to do only inlet pipe here because this is the water source. But assuming your own water is flowing, you can do both the inlet and outlet pipe so that whenever time your water is running dry or the water color changes or the water becomes somehow thick, you can run in clean water, then the dirty one will flush out of the pond. So that is just the update I have to give you about the ongoing project for one of my subscribers. So yours can actually come in, by God's grace, we'll fix a better time to get it done as soon as possible so that you can start your own farm too. Thank you for watching Adota videos. We really appreciate it. And thank you for subscribing.